antagonistic versus synergistic. When we're talking about meds, and we're talking about meds that are antagonistic or meds that are synergistic, what we're talking about is the way they're working to either together with each other or against each other in the body. So an example of antagonistic meds are meds that are going different directions and opposing each other. Do you see? So an example of that might be if you're taking vitamin K, which clots the blood, and then you're taking Coumadin, which thins the blood. They're opposing each other. Now, sometimes we do that on purpose. If somebody has taken way too much Coumadin, we might give them some vitamin K to counteract it. But you just have to be aware that antagonistic meds are meds that would oppose each other. Another example of this might be you take a sleeping pill and then you drink a cup of coffee. Yeah, antagonistic. Do you see? One is wanting to speed you up, one is wanting to slow you down. They're antagonizing each other, they're opposing each other. They're going in the opposite direction. Okay, now synergistic, as you can imagine, is the opposite. These are drugs that are going in the same direction. All right, so an example of this might be um, like a pain med, okay? If somebody takes a, um, let's say they take a Norco, and then they're still having breakthrough pain, and so they give them a um, Percocet. I'm not saying it's a good idea. I'm not saying it's a bad idea. I'm just saying these drugs are synergistic. They're going the same direction. If you've ever had a small child, they're running a fever, you can't break it, they're miserable, it keeps going up. Sometimes the pediatrician will say, give them half a dose of ibuprofen, and then two hours later, give them half a dose of Tylenol, and then just alternate back and forth every two hours because that's synergistic, synergistic effect. Does that make sense? antagonistic, synergistic, going the same direction, opposing each other.